Okay, so one trick to improve the ease and playability of your music streaming capability is to take the USB plug that's found in the uh, left side of the saddlebag and to route it up back in through the cavity space of the, the bike. And in order to do that, you have to take off this plastic piece here by these screws here and it'll reveal a rubber grommet under here where the uh, the wire comes through. You'll have to take out the rubber grommet, slice it enough to get to be able to, to, to remove the USB uh, cable from that, and then hook that USB cable uh, through the side of the saddlebag, and then uh, put, you know replace the grommet back into the saddlebag. I put a piece of uh, electrical tape on either side of the grommet because it will reveal a small hole uh, just to keep uh, water out of it. <clears throat> and basically, you'll have to remove the plastic panel, the top panel, which is this this U piece here, in order to, to be able to get gain access of where it'll come through. And you basically just fish it up through the, the cavity space in between the, the wheel well and the saddlebag. And uh, you can fish it up through here, route it, and this is basically where it kind of terminates. From there, you can get a six foot, you know, iPhone charger, lightning uh, charger, and just connect it to this, um, wrap it with, um, you know, electrical tape, just to, to keep it, you know, together and uh, keep it waterproof. And then from there, kind of snake it through next to the uh, frame and gas tank and then fish it up along the underside of the plastic components here underneath the electrical controls and then underneath the glove box so you'll have to remove you know the glove box to be able to, to grab it but basically what i did was i attached a relatively thick and long zip tie to the end of the uh, six foot uh, charging cable and then because it was somewhat rigid but flexible, I was able to sneak the, the zip tie up through where I wanted to, to get it to. And then I just kind of like basically pulled it through. I ended up using the wire knockout here, which typically would serve, I guess, your or headset controls. Um, I, I had taken that off a while back because I'll never use it. Um, so I used that same hole and then fished the line up. Um, my ram mount is, um, is connected to my windshield because when I'm sitting on the bike, I like my phone to be directly above the uh, controls. There's less vibration up front. It's further away from me. You know, I'm 53, so my eyesight's not the best. So the further it can get from me, the, the easier it is to read. I use it for navigation sometimes and uh, mainly streaming. So I'll be able to play my iTunes um, songs that are downloaded in the phone as well as I can stream Pandora with this setup. It does provide some charging uh, capability. Uh, but it's a it's like just a trickle charge so if you have the screen on the, the entire time then it creates a little bit of a raw but it, if you put it to, to sleep mode then it'll actually charge it slightly so i also have just a another usb charging port here that um, these are a quick charger ports so if the if my phone starts to run low then i'll just you know switch over so i'll turn it on as you can see power comes up when it's connected. And I'm sure everyone knows how it works with Pandora and uh, the iTunes. We really just have to hit the plugs. <laughs> Starts playing. And I can switch to that and then go to the music, start playing from there too. So. Turn auxiliary off and put it on FM. And we've got FM. So when it's still charging, it shows that it's charging right there. So again, it's just a trickle charge, but works pretty well.